What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do and this is going to be a video on how to root the HTC One M8 Google Play Edition. Now there is a much easier method if you have the Verizon version which should also work on the Sprint variant as well and that will be linked in the description of this video below. Please click where it says show more to expand the description and see all of the links. It'll take you to one of my good friends on YouTube, Droid Modder X. It is by far the easiest method you'll ever find on rooting a device. But uh, it doesn't work on the Google Play Edition. Apparently it only works on the Sense versions. So we've got to use the good old fast boot OEM unlock method. Now, there is a way to get S off as well. So thank you to Dustin for informing me of all of this. So we're going to go over here to that. This is the video by Droid Modder X, uh, root all things. So make sure you go to that if you have the Sense version. Uh, on here, you're going to need to do fast boot OEM unlock. Once you're unlocked, then you can like do all this other stuff as well. So we're going to go to our thing here. We're going to go to platform tools. If you do not have platform tools, you're going to need to watch the video that I hopefully will remember to link to in the description below on how to get that folder. And then you'll hold shift on your keyboard, choose open command window here, and then ADB Reboot Bootloader. But before you press enter, you need to go to Developer Options and make sure that it's on. You also need to go to here and choose USB Debugging and press OK. So let's take a step back. If you do not see Developer Options, then you need to go to About Phone. And then you need to go down to Build Number and keep tapping on it. It'll say like 3, 2, 1, you are now a developer. Hit the Back button and you'll see a new option called Developer Options. And then you'll just go to USB debugging, press on it, hit OK, and then you're good to go. Now we're going to take this and plug it into our computer here. And it should pop up and ask me, hey, do you want to accept this key? Yes, I do. That means our drivers are working correctly. So I can go back here, open command window here, and then ADB, reboot, bootloader. And then hopefully that'll reboot my phone. My other laptop was having issues with drivers, and I wasn't sure how to fix it. So, yeah. As you can see, we are locked, not relocked or unlocked or anything like that. And so we're going to go ahead and type in this command. Fastboot OEM unlock. And then it's going to say, do you want to unlock your bootloader? Just press the volume up button and then hit the power button. If you're considering rooting, trust me, you want to do it as soon as possible without delaying it because we just lost everything by unlocking our bootloader as it warned us and told us that it was going to do. So, yeah, it's, it's you guys start all over again from scratch. And now we have a new little unlock symbol down there. It's a little hard to see, I apologize. But it's a little unlock symbol, and it means your bootloader is unlocked. Sorry, puppy, but that's a little too squeaky for now. All right, whenever it comes back up, we're going to need to log back into our Gmail account and we're going to need to re-download apps that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. Once you unlock and then root your device for the very first time, you can install an app like Titanium Backup and back up your entire phone to the external SD card on the device. The HTC One M8 does have an SD card slot and if you don't know about it, I'll link to my video below on that as well. But you can back up your entire phone, all of your apps, all of your progress and games to your SD card or to the cloud, and you'll never lose them. If you ever need to, you can just restore them. Now, again, we're gonna have to set this phone back up, log back into all of our accounts. Again, once you unlock and root one time, from then on out, you're able to back up your apps and restore them. So you never have to worry about it again once you do that initial unlock. So we're just gonna go ahead and sign into everything real quick and we'll be back. Okay, so we've signed into our Google account and we are logged into everything. So we're going to need to go down and then go to our settings here and then go down to about phone. And remember earlier when I was talking about developer options, uh, it's not there. So go to about phone and then go to build number and keep tapping on it. Three, two, one. You're now a developer. Developer options. And then make sure this says on up there and then go to USB debugging. Press OK. And then accept the computer's RSA key. Okay, and there we go. Now, if we hold shift again in our platform tools like we did earlier, and we right click and choose open command window here, if I do ADB reboot bootloader, it'll say something different this time. It'll say like 
unlocked at the top there. There you go, our bootloader is now unlocked. We should be able to install recovery and router device. I'm just gonna go down to reboot and then press the power button there to get me back into Android. Okay, so we can download recovery. There is recovery available apparently. So you can type in bit.ly slash philz, big P, little H-I-L, and then Z. And so, or you can just go to this link right here, Goo I am. And we're gonna need to find the HTC One M8 Google Play Edition. So in this list, we're gonna need to look for M8 GPE. So let's see if we find it. There's the M8. There's M8 SPR, huh? All right, so failure after failure after failure, I've decided to go ahead and just stop for now. You can install recovery meant for the M8, but it's not meant for the M8 GPE. Whenever the Google Play Edition is officially supported, it will say underscore GPE, kind of like the Moto G. If you go to Phil's Touch Recovery, you'll see Falcon, and then for the Google Play Edition, you'll see Falcon underscore GPE. Whenever we have official recovery meant for the Google Play Edition of the HTC One M8, I will make another video on how to root the HTC One M8 Google Play Edition. I am not installing recovery meant for another device just to get root right now. The HTC One M8 Google Play Edition will get official recovery very soon from either Twerp, Phil's Advanced Touch Recovery or Clockwork Mod Recovery. And again, as soon as a method is available, I will follow this video up with another one on how to root the HTC One M8 Google Play Edition. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram to learn about things like the KitKat update for the NVIDIA Shield that I'll be covering very soon. And everything else that's, you know, anything tech related, I'll be posting about it on Twitter and Instagram. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.